Hey guys, how's it going? So, I didn't realize this until this morning, but my mum's just reached out to me uh, and she's interested and she wants to know more about the Paradise Pack. So I thought in the interest of transparency, I'm gonna actually record the video call I have with her. And hopefully, if you guys have got any reservations about joining the Paradise Pack, that'll clear a lot of things up. Because um, one, you can't lie to your mother, right? So I want you guys to know I'm being transparent about this stuff. I genuinely think the Paradise Pack is a huge tool that will help people out. So let's call her, let's have a chat, and we'll see what kind of questions she's got. I've got no idea about this. I, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I've sent her messages here. I haven't said anything about me recording this video, so I hope she doesn't get too angry about it. All right. Let's put it on speaker. Hey mum, you okay? Oh, I was looking for your face and it's a call. No, I'm, I'm doing a, I'm not doing a video call, I'm just doing a, uh, I'm just doing a, a normal call instead. That's cool, so, um, have you just finished work? No, no, I finished ages ago, I've just been busy tonight, shopping and what have you. Okay, cool. So, what, you've been thinking about the Paradise Pack, have you? Well, yeah, but, um, it's quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah, what is it? Just under $500, so, it's three... What's that? About four hundred pounds, three hundred eighty pounds, something oh, like that. Oh, it's less than, not more than dollars. Yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit okay. cheaper. I'll just type it in now. Five hundred US dollars to GBP. I didn't realise you weren't happy with work. What's the story there? Oh, oh, bloody hate it. It's so depressing. What do you do again? Well, it, uh, what? What is it you do again? Um. At work. I'm work work taking calls from schools basically when they're having problems with the sims you know the sims that are used in schools oh okay that's like the attendance but, thing is it yeah but there's just there's just not enough work it's, it's dead half the time oh okay and it, it's just boring, boring. And, and the building is depressing and there's no bloody sunshine coming in and it's air conditioning and i hate it that's rubbish that doesn't sound absolutely. good absolutely to. Okay. The best part of the day is when I go out for my walk every lunchtime, come rain or shine. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I, it's just awful, Jeremy. I, I mean, rain knows great. He just says I'll just pack it in, but yeah. I'd want to be doing something, you know. All right. Well, what what is it that caught your eye about the Paradise Pack then? Well, does it give you step by step to, to you know how to set up a blog and how to get going with? making money basically yeah so i mean there's different things that you can do so the paradise back is essentially uh 20 or 25 different courses that all come together and the idea right. is that it gives you all these different tools depending on what you want to do so like, i'll just go through some of the stuff that's included in it now so like last year for me it was about trying to get the right mindset to start exploring different things that i could do to make money and then yeah. to actually put it into practice so it was kind of like the action i needed to make those kind of necessary steps so i'll just tell you some of the stuff that's included so there's a freelancer guide for getting started up with your own um projects so that's one of one of the good things that you could do is if you wanted to have a little bit more flexibility but to play to your strengths they do a va course which is like virtual assistance so that's like organizing stuff for businesses um, but virtually, so you can do it whenever you want, from anywhere you want. So right. there's that, there's a, there's a course which is about trying to help you um, save money when you travel and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not bothered about the traveling bit. Yeah. My, I, I mean, obviously holidays, yeah, we'll go away and what have you. Yeah. Um, my idea is to be able to work from home when it suits me like if, you know I'm an early bird get yeah. up at 7 work till lunchtime and then the rest of the day is myself my own sure that, that's what feels to me hang on I'm just outside and it's really loud I'm just going to go inside quickly alright I won't be sad alright okay hang on so what was that you... oh I don't know something on the door something like that hang on let me get set down and set up okay Yeah, here we go. I'm inside now. Okay, because there's stuff on your blog, isn't there, about building a blog and stuff like that? Because I, I thought I could, do, I could do stuff on sewing, and okay. I could also do healthy eating as well. So there's a couple of things I could do. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I could build that up, because I'm making things all the time. And, you know, I could do pictures of, of me and Carol making things and do 
um, like uh, how to do a, um, an, o- an overstitch or something like that. Okay. You know, how to videos and that sort of thing. Well- it's not a bad idea because one of the big courses that's in the Paradise Pack is something called Hobby Hacking, which is by a guy called Sean Ogle. Now, that's the guy whose website I found the first time I ever wanted to do anything to do with um, making money online and all that kind of stuff. And that's yeah. basically taking anything that you've got as a hobby and learning how to turn it into a business. So, yeah. But yeah. His, how he started out was a bit like me. He started off doing freelance writing just to make a bit of an income. And then he went on to create this hobby hacking course and doing it that way. So if you yeah. want to do something like that, you could do that. Um, I mean, the, the big thing about it is it's like anything. You're only going to get out what you put into it. What you put in, if you yeah. If you're going to take action and you're going to you know, put the effort in to make a change, then it's going to work out fine. I mean, as well as because anybody that signs up to the Paradise Pack, I've already said that I'll give them my blogging course for free as well. And, that, yeah. and obviously, anybody who does that and you as well can just message me or email me if you've got any questions and I'll give you a hand with it. So, like you would anyway. Exactly. You're my son. Yeah, of course. <laughs> exactly. I would do that anyway. Um, but any the the big thing about that is the blogging thing is going to be difficult to make money straight away. That's more of a long term yeah. endeavour. Blogging yeah, takes yeah. probably by the time you've learnt everything and you start to put it into practice, probably six months to twelve months before you st- you start to make even a little bit of money. But mm. the craft stuff you're talking about, sewing and and all that kind of stuff, is really popular online. So yeah. how I would promote it is through Pinterest, um, yeah, and, yeah. and you can basically tie it all together because a blog can be your foundation point, and it's like my business now, this Pinterest business I've got, I got purely through referrals because of the blog. I made the blog, I, I was writing about Pinterest and traffic, I then did a course about it, and then somebody reached out and said, look, I love what you're doing, you obviously know what you're talking about with this, and I want to do business with you, and that's how that business came about. So. Even though the blogging might not directly make you money, you might then find that that goes and links into something you know further down the line. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's up to you. I mean, the other stuff's in there. Like, for example, if you decide to like make that your hobby into a business and you need to promote it, there's like a course on there for Pinterest. There's actually a really good course that they did last year that they've also included in this year, which is 21 Days to Discover Your Passion. And that's basically yeah. um, like a little course that you do, which takes probably a week or so, depending on how much time you put in. And that helps you kind of figure out what your passion is and, and how you yeah. can kind of go further from there. Yeah. Um, so there's loads of stuff in there. There's stuff about helping you be, you know, do writing stuff. Uh, there's stuff about YouTube content. There's stuff about podcasting. Um, it depends what you want to go into. Um, but the, the biggest thing I got out of this last year was when you were part of that community, Everybody kind of talks through it. They give you support. I, you know, as you go through it and you make mistakes and you discover things, they like help you with it. So, I mean, yeah, if, I mean, yeah, go yeah, go on. Um, so, I mean, there's there's tons of value in there. It just it's just down to whether you want to take the action. Because for me, and and this has always been the way. If I do stuff for free, I skirt around it for ages, and then yeah, I never yeah. I never take action. I, I've downloaded so many free guides and free ebooks yeah. and courses and all this different stuff. And until I actually bought that Paradise Pack last year, I didn't do anything with it. But then when I put the money down and it was like, okay, I've actually spent money on this now, that oh, yeah. it's like the realization, isn't it? I've spent money on you this. Recoup, yeah, yeah, I want to put the effort in and, and make the best out of it. And that was the good thing about it. So, I mean, it depends how serious you are. I mean, I know you did that thing with the Forex thing a couple of years ago. And you kind of that was more massive, yeah. Though, wasn't it? You know, and so obviously you can stick to a course, follow it. You can take instructions. You know, so I think you've got the right kind of mindset to follow a course properly and get the most what out you, of it. Yeah, the most important thing for me is to, to to follow steps. Does it give you steps to follow? Yeah. So each so inside this pack, there's a there's a roadmap they give you, and the roadmap basically gives you an outline of what all the courses are and how you can stick them together. So yeah. the best way to do it usually is to pick one course, maybe two maximum, and to just do that. And when you go into the course, it gives you like a sign up link and then the step by step instructions of how to follow that course. So each course is about something different and it teaches you an aspect of something online. So yeah. for example, the, the, um, the finding your passion course that they do, you literally go into that and it will do a step-by-step um, sort of course that you go through to understand what your passions are and to find out whether yeah. you can do it or not. 
um, and it's the same with some of the other courses as well so um, the the one with Sean Ogle's one which is the um, hobby hacking when I did his course last year it was literally like section one section two section three here's a video there's an instruction manual and it guides you through all the different steps so oh, yeah that's good then. yeah, yeah. It, I mean so it's how much, sorry go on. how much does it sorry how much was it in English pounds? it's 497 dollars which is 375 quid 375 pounds right. so it's let me speak to Mars about it before sure. I make a decision. Because I've fine. got the money. It's not that I haven't got the money. Yeah, it's just um, deciding just, whether you're going to get the value out of it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it sounds good. I mean, what if I click on your link? How much do you get? Um, so anybody that signs up through my link, I think I get about a hundred dollars as a commission. Right. So well, I'll take so I'll take you out to dinner when I come to see you. Money. Yeah, I'll come to I'll come and take you for dinner. But honestly, don't. <laughs> this is the big thing. Don't sign up if you don't see the value. Because unless you're going to see the value and take the action, it's a waste of money. But if you think uh, yeah. that if you think that you can do something with it, and it sounds like you've got half an idea of what you want to do, I mean, if you've got something yeah. that you can passionately talk about, it doesn't well, matter yeah, what yeah, avenue I mean, you go down. Yeah, I mean, I'm really, really getting into me sewing, and because I'm learning, it's like when you started off learning, you you let's get jobless. It's good to put all those steps on, isn't it? As you're yes. learning. Yeah, because you pick it all up. Yeah you know, pictures of what you've done and what you've done wrong even. Yeah. Um, you know, so, um, and it, it's good to show things like that. But, you know, I also have a passion for cooking and healthy eating and that sort of thing as well. That's so. popular as well. You know, um, in this in this um, course that I've been running, my 30-day boot camp course, uh, I was running through all sorts of stuff about how to figure out what niches are popular, you know, how to find out whether you're talking about the right thing and people are going to really like it. Um, mm. So I mean that would probably benefit you as well, but the trick is not to take on too much. If you try and do too many courses, yeah. it's just going to get overwhelming. Yeah. And, it, and it, obviously the, the issue at the moment is I'm still working full time. Sure. It's, it's something that I can do, you know. Yeah, and this is the thing, like almost everybody who signs up for these courses haven't quit and they're not travelling and doing all that stuff because what the, the biggest mistake people make is they leave their job and then they try and make a business, but if you do that, you're completely trying to build up. Aren't you? Yeah, so you're focusing on money rather than doing it for the right reasons. So I mean, yeah, th yeah. this kind of package designed to help people do it on the side, you know, build it up to the point where they can start to see some returns from it, and then at that stage, when they're, you know, a lot further along, then they can decide whether they want to do it, you know, full time. I mean, it's like, because Gina's just, you know, obviously she lost her job a couple months ago. In fact, a month yeah. ago. It's only a month ago. And she's now doing, ago? yeah, it's only a month. And now she's earning full-time income from VIP Kid. She's earning like 2200 a month from VIP Kid. But she's also doing freelance writing just to top it up. So she's got yeah. those two different types of income. Um, which is, and it's all literally just from what we picked up from the Paradise Pack last year. I just helped to figure it out from there. So yeah, because the freelance writing's good as well, isn't it? Like yeah. you say, to top up your income. And you can, and anybody can do that. And I can show you in more detail. And anybody that wants to know about that can email me, and I can give them more details about that as well. So it's easy to do. Okay. But it's just, it's up to you, really. I would just say, you know, think it through. I, I mean, I remember me last year. I was looking at this email all week. I was getting the update, so I was like, I'm in an hour and about it for ages. And then just on the last day, I decided, sod it, I'll just do it. Worst case scenario. It's you know it's money that I would spend on going out or whatever, yeah. and um, and in the end it's turned out really well for me. So yeah, yeah. I think the biggest thing is setting the intent that you want to make a change and you want to do something for yourself. Oh, it's just uh, I've never been. I mean, I've, you know me. I like working and I like mm -hmm. to be. I've never been in a job that gets me down so much. Yeah. It's just awful. That's no good. It's horrible. No, yeah. I really I'm depressed. Oh. Really depressed when I'm, I'm there. Sorry. When I'm out, I'm fine. Yeah. Oh well, look, t tonight Maz gave me a hug because he could see I was down. Mm. But it's just horrible. That's not good. Horrible. It's and that's the thing. It? Like it, it's more than anything. It, even if because if you even if you just make a bit of income, you can then quit that higher paying job you need to do something that's easy that you don't mind doing. That's you know. Yeah. You can do yeah, a part time exactly. job that you enjoy that's rewarding, yeah. and then you can top but the income yeah. up. Used to enjoy St George's, but it was just so busy. Yeah. Um, but I did enjoy, you know, I enjoyed the people and, and the friendships. That was nice. So I left that to get a higher paid job, and I hate it. I really hate yeah. it. Yeah. You, you know what? So it, people talk about this all the time. This happened to me when I left 
for that higher paid job in Birmingham, I didn't like it. Um, you know, Lindsay, she went for that higher paying job as well and she was mm. regretting it. You know, she said that mm. she enjoyed the work more. It's always the way, yeah. you know, you, you move up because you think it's the sensible thing to do, but you don't get as much enjoyment from the extra money as you do from the job. And if you don't like oh, the job, exactly. it's worse. So you've got more money, but it's a worse off situation. But you're miserable, yeah. Yeah, and that's no good, is it? No, and I, I mean, my one of my rules, one of my life rules has always been, if you don't enjoy your job, finish. Quit, yeah. You know, Yeah. do something else. Um, but um, cause the other thing is, I said to Mars, and he said, don't be silly, but I, feel, I said I feel a bit pressured because we've got the house on the market. Yeah. And if we sell and we need to buy another and we need a bit more money, mm -hmm. I will need to be earning an income. Yeah. Because... With Maz being self-employed, it's more difficult to get a small mortgage or a loan or whatever. Yeah, it's the same so with everybody, isn't my, it? They've always got that money pressure. You've got to be earning money to pay the bills. and. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we could manage without my job. I mean, we wouldn't be able to do much, but we could manage. But, um, you know, I, I would. I, I do feel pressured that I need to be in a, a fully proper, properly paid job in, yeah. in case we sell and we need a more loan or mortgage, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I just need something else to focus on to, to, you know, help me think there's a future away from there. Yeah, I mean, this is the big thing, like, when nowadays with the internet, it's so easy and it's so accessible to start a business which doesn't cost you any money. So, if you, even if you try at it and it doesn't work, it's not, it's not costing you money, it's like it's a hobby. It's not the end of the world. You no. know, when I started the blog, what, 18 months ago when I first started it? Yeah. You know, yeah. at, to fir at first, it was just a hobby. You know, so instead of playing on the PlayStation or watching the DVD or Netflix at night, I was working on the blog. But, you know, 18 months later, it's it's then my full-time income and it's it works out, you know. So even if you just start it as something you do in the evening, so instead of watching TV, you know, you, you do a bit of the pack every night and then, you know, after a couple hours of that, it, it you know, that's all it needs to start making that difference and making a change. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, just whether I can it's right do that, for you. Because I finish, I can finish early as well. I can finish at four o'clock. So yeah. Come home, do an hour or two. And, and it gets then... it gets exciting as well because once you start to find out that there's there's something that you can do to start building something online, you you start to get into it all the time. And you you know you're on mm. instead of going on Facebook when you're on your phone, you're on Pinterest instead doing stuff for the mm. you know the business side. So it it does it can make a huge difference. But you've just, the biggest thing that I say to anybody is you've just got to want to make a change. It's not, you know, just downloading it and looking at it for an hour once a week isn't going to make any difference. But if no. you can if you can fully commit to it and really put energy into it and put yourself into the community. Because the guys that run it, Travis and Jason, they do loads of support on top as well. So they run um, conversations and, and uh, meetings that they do with the people that take the courses so you can yeah. do I think they're doing like live one-on-one -on -one conversations with them so let's say you're taking a particular course they'll have a particular day where they're speaking to the course creator and they talk through everything that's involved in it so that you get that kind of one-to-one -one support from the groups as well yeah so so it includes all the courses you don't have to pay extra once you yeah join. the whole point is for that price it's a full connection to the it's whole everything. yeah everything and, and like and there's other stuff as well so you know sean ogle who does the hobby hacking course he's also um he's giving support on that as well so if you struggle with it you can just reach out to him and he'll yeah. answer any questions it's the same with all the course creators because they do it you know a lot of the people who are in this now they do it every year so they're really closely connected with the communities yeah so but it's it's the same every year there'll be some people who take it they run with it and they make loads of changes and there'll be other people who start it and then don't do anything with it so it's yeah. it's really just down to how much effort that you put into it but the, yeah, yeah. the biggest thing is it's got everything in there that if you want to do something online, like every possible thing that you could do to make money online is included in this course. Like I, I can't see anything in there that isn't included. They literally cover yeah. every aspect. So, you know, you'll probably find something in there. You, chances are you won't do all the courses. You won't even do half of them. But you'll probably find there's a couple of courses which jump out to you, which you'll get yeah. the value from. And, you know, Maz might find something in there that he likes and he can do yeah, as well. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, if I can do this and, and you know, it would be great because I, I, I hate him working there. Yeah. The, you know, the, the I mean, he... He said he just doesn't bring enough money out of it, sure. out of the business. It's ridiculous. Well, it's a lot of pressure, isn't you know, it, running your own business if you're not making that much money? It's isn't it? And yeah. Shit like that and crap 
bloody people won't pay prices and all that <laughs> rubbish. But he's got such a lot of knowledge about cars in his head. Right. Such a lot of knowledge, you know. So he might be able to do something. Like, he's got years of knowledge, and he should put it all in a blog. Yeah. Well, why not? No. So that's what it's there for. Yeah. yeah. So it's not difficult to do. But um, but yeah, so maybe maybe you could do it as a joint thing. And that's not a bad idea because if you get an accountability partner, so if you get your other half to do it with you as well, that yeah. helps because you're both doing it, you're both looking at it, and you G yourself up. So he'll you'll be like, oh, are you working on your blog tonight? And, and he'll be like, yeah, are you doing your sewing thing? And, and that kind yeah. of partnership helps to make it through as yeah. well. Yeah. We'd need two laptops. <laughs> Have you not got two? No, I've only got one oh. and an iPad. Oh dear, yeah. That's another expense. Oh well. Yeah, oh well. I don't have any affiliate links for laptops, sadly. I can only make money off yeah. the course. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking I forward do, to seeing um, you in a few I'm weeks. I'm looking forward to seeing you, darling. It's less than two weeks, ten days. Gina says she's excited to see you too. Oh, bless her. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, we'll talk it over. Hey, listen, I didn't want to tell you, but um, I've been recording this whole conversation so I can put it on an email. So everybody can um, can see the honest conversation I had with you about whether you wanted it or not. Is that all right? Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if it's come out all, all right quality-wise. But I figured, like, because I put in the email, my mum was considering the pack, and I said that I was going to talk to you about it. So I thought instead of just copying it out, I'd just record the conversation and see what came up. Because maybe some of the questions you have is what other people have as well. So oh, okay. it's kind so of against data protection. So I hope you're not too... <laughs> And I hope you're not too angry. Have you used your data? No, darling, time? no. Well, that's good. I'm really glad you didn't swear or say anything bad. That was good. Okay. For a change. Well, I'll stop recording now, but I'm looking forward to seeing you in two weeks. All right, darling. All, All right. right. Love you lots. Love you too. Bye. All right. Bye.